Lauren Boebert is not one known for reaching across the aisle um, in the Congress, but there was some of that here with her male companion. A lot of, um, uh, let's say they were handsy in their behavior. Um. As I'm sure many of you have heard by now, Lauren Boebert is facing criticism after she was kicked out of a theater in Denver for vaping and jerking off her date. And since we learned about her perverted, dare I say, groomer-like behavior, she's faced quite a bit of backlash expectedly. But one thing that I did not anticipate was fallout from fellow conservatives who are also criticizing her, primarily conservative women who have a lot to say about this. But before we get to that, let's catch everyone up to speed who hasn't been following this amazing story. The Denver Post reports, U.S. Representative Lauren Boebert was escorted out of a Sunday night performance of the Beetlejuice musical in downtown Denver, accused by venue officials of vaping, singing, recording, and causing a disturbance during the performance and jerking off her date. The incident report states that after receiving the intermission warning about five minutes into the second hour, Act, security officials received another complaint about the patrons being loud and at the time they were recording taking pictures or recording is not permitted at shows the report quotes one of the ushers quote they told me they would not leave i told them that they need to leave the theater and if they do not they will be trespassing the patrons said they would not leave i told them i would be going to get denver police they said go get them the report said after the two patrons were escorted out and reached the building's vestibule they resisted leaving and said stuff like do you know who i am i am on the board and i will be contacting the mayor now i for one am not surprised at all that her first instinct was to go full karen when she was being escorted out she also reportedly flipped off the usher who was making her leave and i think it's really bold of her to throw out a do you know who i am when you might want to downplay who you are in this situation after you were escorted out because you were literally publicly jerking off your date the audacity of people like Lauren Boebert. But as she said all of this, she seemingly wasn't aware of the fact that there was security cameras. And on top of that, they caught her in the act, in the dark. She didn't think that they could see what she was doing with her partner, but they saw everything. But before she realized that this was the case, this was the patronizing response that her campaign manager, Drew Sexton, put out. Now, first of all, he denied that she was vaping, but she was. It was captured on camera, as I stated, and she was doing it in front of a pregnant woman who asked her to stop to make matters worse. But she claims that she was kicked out because she took pictures and was unaware that she couldn't do that. Now, she literally had her camera flash on. And as someone who's only been to like two plays throughout my entire life, even I know that flash photography is never permitted at these plays. So again, this was the response, keep in mind, before they knew about the security camera footage. They were incredibly arrogant. Quote, I can confirm the stunning and salacious rumors. In her personal time, Congresswoman Lauren Boebert is indeed a supporter of the performing arts, gasp, and to the dismay of a select few, enthusiastically enjoyed a weekend performance of Beetlejuice, Sexton wrote in a statement. Now, seeing how cocky they are is very important because you're going to see the response completely change once they learn that everything was caught on tape everything but before we get to that this is what bobert said in response in an interview with uh newsmax or oan one of the far right networks but here's what she said and kevin mccarthy the speaker of the house announced an impeachment inquiry yesterday uh we're facing a government shutdown and and trying to fund the federal government we have a wide open southern border we have uh Zelensky threatening to send uh refugees here and what's the top story lauren bobert getting kicked out of the beautiful theater in denver colorado it's what the media Beals. does it's what the media does so yes, what, it what, is. What, what went what down um, I was a little too uh, eccentric. I, I am. I'm very known for having uh, a, a animated personality, uh, maybe overtly animated Me personality. Too. I was laughing. I was singing, having a fantastic time. Was told to kind of settle it down a little bit, uh, which I did. But then uh, my next slip up was uh, taking a picture of. Right. Uh, the, you can't the take any images of the play. I've done it too. I've snuck them. Right. So you got thrown out because you took a pick and you weren't supposed to. But you know That's what? Right. Here's my whole but thing. There was no arguing. There's reports saying that I was arguing, threatening to call the Denver mayor. I don't know why I would ever call the Denver mayor. I think he would have tried to lock me up. Yeah. Um, there, 
report saying I was on the board of something. I don't know what I'm on the board of. Uh, I'm on the edge of a lot of things, let me tell you. Uh, but <laughs> well, probably the people that complain, here's what I'm thinking. You're in Denver, Lauren. It's very liberal. The people that complained to the ushers that you were being noisy could have recognized you and been like, oh, that's that MAGA girl. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know how they are. I get it. Congresswoman Lauren Boebert, I think you explained it well enough, and the mainstream media can take a fly and... <clears throat> so they're actually going with the conservative victim complex narrative. How predictable. I mean, this is what they do now, right? Even with Russell Brand, who was credibly accused of rape with evidence by four different women. Well, it's because he's a conservative and he's being targeted because he got a little bit too close to the truth. They will always use this card because they refuse to be held accountable and own up to the things that they do, even if they are egregious. But she contradicted herself because she admitted that she was animated and she was told to settle down. But she's also being targeted because she, she's a conservative, apparently. Okay. She also admits to uh, sneaking a photo, even though her campaign manager said that she wasn't aware that you couldn't. But she said that she snuck a photo, which implies that she knew she wasn't supposed to do that. But the problem is that even with all of these contradictions and the lies, she was caught in 4K. And I can't play the video for you, obviously, because it would violate YouTube's terms of use. But here's a censored screenshot of her partner caressing her breast while she rubs his pecker. And I can't help but wonder, since the play was open to children ages 10 and up, were they around any children? Did any kids see her and her partner engage in this inappropriate sexual behavior and were thus groomed and sexualized by Lauren Boebert? And the reason why I'm asking this very important question is because Boebert herself is someone who is very sensitive to what children are exposed to and even accused the left of grooming children over LGBTQ plus inclusive flashcards. So in theory, and by her own standards, her and her date potentially groping each other in front of children is significantly worse than flashcards, is it not? So, I mean, does this make her a predator? Imagine what she'd say if a gay couple was caught doing this. And to be clear, it's bad when anyone does it. You shouldn't be doing this in public. But this is somebody who implied that leftists were pedophiles for simply, I guess, supporting LGBTQ inclusive flashcards or not being offended by them. So, I mean, for her of all people to do this. It confirms once again that every fucking accusation is a confession by these people. And we already knew this about Boebert specifically before this quote unquote incident. When she was dating her ex-husband, she justified him exposing himself to a minor by claiming that she begged for it. So going forward, anyone who calls LGBTQ plus people groomers and pedophiles for simply existing in public around kids, they're the ones that we should look into first because nine times out of 10, they're projecting and they're the ones who are doing what they should say everyone else is doing. But after after the tapes were released, well, she was forced to humble herself because what are you going to do? You're going to claim that this was CG or something? I mean, you're not that important to have all of this effort just to smear you. So here's her new statement per the New York Times. Quote, the past few days have been difficult and humbling, and I'm truly sorry for the unwanted attention my Sunday evening in Denver has brought to the community, Ms. Bobert said in a statement Friday night. While none of my actions or words as a private citizen that night were intended to be malicious or meant to cause harm, the reality is they did, and I regret that. Wow, a conservative admitting that they were wrong? But wait for it. Ms. Bobert, who can be seen on the video touching and carrying on with her date while sitting in the middle of a crowded theater, blamed what she called her public and difficult divorce for her behavior and said, I simply fell short of my values on Sunday. Oh, is that so? Miss Bobert, a mother of four boys who likes to show off pictures of her new grandchild to colleagues in Congress, said she genuinely did not recall vaping that evening. Oh, shut the fuck up. When she told her campaign to issue a statement denying she had done so, she said she would have to work hard to earn back trust from voters in her district. Yeah, but I mean, Bobo, there's nothing to be sorry about. I'm sure that plenty of people deal with difficult divorces by jerking off their partners in public. So, I mean, perfectly understandable, perfectly normal response. Very, very, very reasonable. I can't with these fucking people, I swear to God. Now, her excuse for lying, I, I just, I can't get over this, is that she, quote unquote, genuinely did not recall vaping. That's what we're going with? Really? I mean, I get that you're embarrassed, but just for a moment, just respond as... A human would, right? Just say, look, I lied because I was really embarrassed. I was humiliated and, you know, it wasn't my best moment. So that's why I said I didn't vape when I did. But she can't help herself. No, I genuinely did not recall vaping. I just, what do you say about these folks, 
right? Now, this story is surprising, not in the sense that Lauren Boebert acted like a trashy buffoon in public, because that we all expect from her, but it's surprising in the sense that she may have actually, believe it or not, done something that is indefensible to conservatives, because conservatives aren't just not coming to her defense here, but to the contrary, they're dragging her, specifically conservative women who are also Christian, who thinks that her behavior, her antics, they're making the entire movement look bad. For example, Megan McCain wrote on Twitter, Lauren Boebert is trash. She lectures everyone about the LGBT community being a threat to children while getting caught performing a lewd sex act in a public theater where children possibly were. This is family values. This is why people think the GOP are all hypocrites. Correct. And Coulter chimed in saying that she is a totally embarrassing bimbo. Also indicted former attorney Jenna Ellis called her behavior embarrassing and disrespectful and added, good grief Republicans do better. Congress shouldn't be a frat house any more than it should be a retirement community and she also pointed out the hypocrisy of Bobert tweeting to take your children to church not drag bars when the man she groped is the owner of a gay friendly bar that also hosts drag shows which is true by the way so by her own logic i guess she was giving a hand job to a groomer i wonder if she allows him around her children also ellis made the point that this behavior is bad because conservatives like Bobert and gnome claim to be christians yet aren't behaving as such and that's true and a reference to revelations that self-proclaimed christian and south Dakota Governor Kristi Noem has been having an extramarital affair with Corey Lewandowski since 2019. And that's a really good point. So if you're serious about Christianity and quote unquote family values, then ask yourself why these people always turn out to be hypocrites. Do a little bit of introspection and try to understand why these people make you all look so bad before you try to impose your will on everyone else. Because maybe you should get your own house in order first and live by your principles. Have people in your movement live by the principles that you espouse before trying to force everyone else to align with your Christian nationalist views. But back to the response here. I actually never thought that I would say this, and it makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable admitting this, but Megan McCain and Coulter and Jenna Ellis are all 100% correct simultaneously. Very, very weird world that we're living in here. But since Lauren Boebert is one of the loudest crusaders against LGBTQ grooming, I mean, it really demonstrates that these people, they have no values. They never cared about anything but demonizing queer people. And for those who've been paying attention, this isn't surprising, right? And the problem is that she's already on thin ice with her constituents, but this is probably going to make things a lot worse because an August poll by Keating Research found that she is narrowly trailing her Democratic opponent, Adam Frisch. And to make matters even worse, 53% of her own constituents hold a negative view of her compared to 42% view her favorably. I wonder how much that's going to change now that she was caught jerking off her partner in public. Now, keep in mind that she won her last election by just 551 votes. So I say, uh, good, keep it up. Keep exposing yourself, Lauren Boebert, to your constituents, figuratively, not literally, by the way, and continue to act like a buffoon in public because you are digging your own political grave at this point. And I applaud you for it. Keep doing it. Penis and balls, vagina. Peep, peep. Penis and balls, vagina. P word and balls, vagina. P word and balls, vagina. Ass, gum. Ass, gum. Ass, gum. Vagina. She stroked my face with the vagina. She stroked my penis and balls.